son of a Martha. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Star Wars action figure review on the Star Wars 6 inch black series Princess Leia Organa. If you're trying to pick this figure up, you can get it up. Big, big, big. big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Call my Princess Leia. I'm so happy to have this figure though. So we have Princess Leia in action figure form, even though we do not have her in life. Uh, very sad. Uh, Princess Leia Organa right there and on the very back there's a read up if you want to read it go ahead and pause it now and she's number 30 princess leia organa all right let's get to it and crack this thing up. at night i fall asleep with you and i wake up alone princess i've been listening to this song uh new hope from blink 182 for a while man i'm very sad to have this figure and very happy all at the same time only sad because i miss carrie fisher dearly that's one of those celebrities that i actually really uh, really miss her, uh, you know, we're not gonna see her in episode 9, I miss seeing her at the conventions, I just saw her at San Diego Comic Con, that was really exciting. So this is an actress that I actually even got to meet in person and she was delightful, so I I'm just very, I mean, everybody's sad about Carrie Fisher leaving us, but we have her in action figure form now, so at least there's that, right? Yeah, but anyway, Hasbro did a fantastic job with this piece, I really like it a lot, I love what they did here. I feel like they gave her a little extra treatment, but anyway, let's take a closer look at her, and then we'll take a closer look at Princess Leia Organa. The figure only comes with two accessories, and first of the two, we're looking at her blaster. It looks like this is an Alderaan blaster, right? Am I correct about that? But it looks very good. I like we get the extra long barrel over here. We get the little ribbed section right there towards the end, a little sight and everything, so looks pretty nice. She does have a trigger finger on her right hand, so you can get her holding this fairly easy, so that's pretty sweet. I like that. And she also comes with a Stormtrooper blaster. A little bit more difficult for her to hold this though. Her trigger finger doesn't really reach all the way through there. So a little bit of a bummer, but not the worst thing in the world. She can still hold it. Looking at the blaster itself, it looks pretty good. You know, nice little touch of silver right over there. And then comparing it to a blaster that came with one of my Stormtrooper Black Series figures, you can see the similarities. They are not exactly the same. I really like this head sculpt a lot. I do have some minor complaints with the paint and the sculpt a little bit, but really, for the most part, I really do like it. I think it's beautiful. I really love the blush on her cheeks. I like the bright red lipstick that we're seeing over here. Uh, her left eye is looking far off to the left, so that's a little unfortunate, but not noticeable when you look at the figure a little bit farther away. As we get closer here, though, you definitely notice it. I think her nose is sculpted just a little bigger than it needed to be sculpted, I think. I don't know, it still resembles the likeness of Carrie Fisher, some may disagree with that, but I still think it looks like her, and I really do like it a lot. Then looking at her buns right over there, or you know, her, her hair buns anyway, looking really nice. I like the hair sculpt a lot, looks really good right there, I'm digging it, yeah man. Very, very well done, I think, as far as the hair sculpt goes. Missing just a little bit of brown paint on the side, but yeah, man, I like the flesh tone. Very, very happy to have this. And then looking at the rest of the figure over here, there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, we get this cloth material. Um, now, it looks like this is really poofy. At first, I thought it was going to be really, really bad. And you can just go ahead and put this over her head a little bit like there. Well, not all the way like that, but yeah. I think that looks pretty cool that you can do that with the figure. So I'm pretty stoked about that. It looks pretty sweet. You know, and you can just get it you can't have to like dress it or just smoosh it against her back a little bit you know right there and you can see the sculpt underneath the figure the belt looks really good right here with the nice silver and all that going all the way through so it's mostly a cloth material but you can peel things back like seeing that she has the double jointed elbows in there I'm like what Double jointed elbows on the female figures. This this mean Hasbro might do this for Marvel Legends. I'm sorry I have to think about Marvel Legends right now, but us Marvel Legends collectors have been dying to see double jointed elbows on female figures. So the fact that we see it on Princess Leia Organa right here with the Star Wars figure, I don't know. It gives me hope. A new hope, by the way. All right. Anyway, uh, looking at the rest of it though, I like how the skirt has a slit on the side right there. Her boots look very good. Pretty nice looking boots. Like that, she does have a peg hole under each foot. And we're gonna have to get a little cochino over here just because, uh, yeah, there we have the legs and she has her panties and all that. So just so you can get a look at the figure really, really quick. You know, she has underwear and stuff. Even though George Lucas told her that there's no underwear in space. So I just realized that you could take this belt off. You can untab that right there. So if you want to, you know, take this 
belt off. I don't know what you would do. I, I'm kind of feeling scared taking it off all the way. But yeah, if you wanted to do some customizing or whatnot, you could do that. Now, I'm not trying to fully disrobe the figure. I don't really want to do that. I'm just trying to show off how good this body mold looks right here. And I would really, really, really like Hasbro to reuse this mold for Marvel Legends. We could get this body used for a lot of different figures and different properties, but I don't know if the different properties can mix the body molds or anything like that. But yeah, it's a very good looking body mold. Now, before getting into the articulation, I just want to warn you, I had a churn her right arm around uh, I think it was backwards when I got this out of the packaging but anyway moving on uh, her head can look up very far I think that's fantastic I'm very happy with that her head can look very far downward as well and she does have side to side movement over here and uh, no pivot right there she can move her shoulders very far outward and you can move them down forward bicep swivel the double jointed elbows as you saw earlier thank you so much Hasbro Star Wars team Hasbro on the left hand you can swivel it side to side and hinge it up and down for her right hand she does have the side to side movement like this so that she can shoot her blaster like that so that's pretty sweet uh, she has that diaphragm joint that turns side to side crunches forward pretty far and back a bit and you do get some diaphragm pivot too and then her legs move outward pretty far like that and she can kick forward that much and back a little bit upper thigh cut right there double jointed knees and then her ankles can move down and they will move up a little bit and she does have great ankle pivot. Now to measure out this Princess Leia figure you can see that she is standing just under five and a half inches tall. Then for your Star Wars six inch black series Princess Leia comparison we have Slave Leia from Return of the Jedi and then the Boosh Disguise Leia also from Return of the Jedi. I do like the height on this one. This one was just way too short but I like how this one's just a bit taller. You can really see the difference right over there. This one's a lot taller but she has those boots and she's in disguise. And I gotta say out of the three of these I think the Boosh Disguise actually has has the closest resemblance to Carrie Fisher. I don't know, you let me know in the comments below which one out of these three has the best likeness. And then here's Princess Leia next to all of our other heroes from Star Wars A New Hope and this finally completes this team from our first installment of the Star Wars Saga. Just recently getting C-3PO and then now finally finishing it off with Princess Leia. I am very very happy and I think this is a very very cool set of figures that has taken years for me to obtain. And then to compare Princess Leia to your average 6 inch scale figure, here she is next to the Marvel Legends big time no let down Spider-Man. Aerial pose for Princess Leia right there. Yeah, I just had to do that because I think she's such a badass and I had to get her into this dynamic pose that she was never really in in the movie or anything, but man. Yep, I love this Princess Leia figure. I'm very, very happy to have it. Hasbro has not disappointed. I think they took some extra efforts over here, especially with their articulation. And if you don't like the head sculpt, well, I don't know what to tell you. I think it looks pretty good. I like this figure very much and I'm very happy to have it. And I hope you guys are very happy with my review. If you are, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this figure and the review, why don't you? Subscribe if you have not already. Stick around for the subscribe circle popping up at your face. And if you're already subscribed, be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when Shardimus Prime videos are coming at your face. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's over at JediInsider.com and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Just a little stick. We're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said, we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said, we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said, we're shot.